this one's finally arrived. <laughs> Look at this, this is a hell of a box, isn't it? This is the 148 scale Avril Anson Mark One. I've actually seen the prototypes of this when I was up at FX Creator Day and I was blown away. This is gonna be a kit for those that love doing cockpit detail, inside fuselage detail. You know, normally what you end up doing is building it and put it together, you'll never see it again. But on this one, because of all the glass that's involved here, you're going to get an amazing looking kit, most definitely. You're going to enjoy building this, I can assure you. Um, so basically, you've got 2B um, box work here, box art, and it looks phenomenal. And it's nice to see they've gone back to, you know, showing a bit more of a war effect. As before, you know, years ago, they would sanitise the Roy Cross artwork. But this one here, you've got um, um, uh, a BF-109 getting shot down there by the crew here and it even tells you there that pilot officer peters and his crew were attacked by a messerschmitt bf 109 amazingly they shot down two of them damaged another and returned to base and peters was awarded the dfc for his actions so there you go there's the box out there side of the box you have the warnings obviously of all of it the warnings um the code for this one is uh where is it they go a zero nine one nine one and uh airfix have got plenty of these in stock side of the box you've got three schemes to play with if you so wish you have um the one that was piloted by philip peters you've got the coastal command camouflage trials aircraft and you also have this canadian air force one which is the number three training command all looking pretty nice Plenty of paint for this one needed. Flying hours are three, and it's a skill level three. So you're going to be ending up doing a lot of work on this one. Obviously, edges of the boxes are whipped the wrong way around. Our uh, box art again, and just what it is. So yeah, that's basically it. So then, let's open the box, and let's see what we get. So on to the instruction manual. You know, basically, how to build it kit. Um, quite a lot of detail and information in here, so we will go for it quickly. Um, building the cockpit all together first, and uh, in between the fuselage, and it's all basically put down on the on the fuselage flooring. Moving on through, again some more seats being put in, and this uh, crossbar crossbeam going in, you know, to help with the wings, making sure that's all ninety degrees, ninety degrees. Starting with putting some framework in now, and there's going to be quite a lot of framework in because there's a lot of glass involved as well. Framework in, then you've got a choice here, it looks like, of having one or two um, um, joysticks, which is interesting. Navigation desk there, which has a nice light there, so you've got a lamp, I saw that, they made a point of that. Um, straight away through then, it's just showing you where the angle should be in regards to the framework. Some instrument panels there, it's going in. So this is more like, a, you know, levers up, levers down. And then there's, you've got the dashboard down. There's some decals to go there. Decals to go on this lot here. So it's quite a nice, it's like quite separated actually. And then um, that piece goes on there, which is all the framework. Then you've got your, I think that's your radio going in, which is good, around with the frame, bit of a gun going in there. More framework going in. Um, and you can notice that the brushes have got the colors on, which is a really nice feature. Decal go in there for the bulkhead and some different colours there. And it looks like uh, you're painting. Looks like, um, is that fire extinguisher or something in there? And that all goes down into that position there. And it's saying drill the holes here for step 30 on page 8. So step 30. Um, mm, uh, see step 30 on page 8. C31. Ah, I see, yeah. So you basically, you you drew those holes in for there. All right, fair enough. Yep, sounds a plan to me. Um, a bit of glass going into the front of the fuselage there. Then you can see here they've actually added some bits here. So you've got to make sure these it goes in flush. Bang. So that goes in flush, not back. It's got to go up tight. So you do have a gap there. You want to push the red in, and they're doing this throughout this build because there's a lot of lot of manoeuvring in the pieces. More bulkhead work there. 
red, yellow, and um, so green, orange, and red going onto the onto the um, glass there, which is nice feature. They started to put this all together into the fuselage. When attaching starboard fuselage, important to align various areas. So we'll just make sure that gets pushed in flat. So you don't want a gap there. You want it pushed in dead in. Nice, nice, nice. Top of the fuselage, the roof goes on. Drew some hose there for step 99, which is step 99 is, oh yeah, for the, for the I think that's an antenna ring or something. It's not to, it's not put in, so you can hang it from the ceiling. Then you start, you've got the front underneath bulkhead going in there. Was that top or bottom? That's, that's the rear, sorry, that's the rear, isn't it? Is that the rear? No, that's the front end section going in. Just looking at, I'm trying to see that. No, it's not, it's the middle section. God, it's difficult looking at this, isn't it? And then you put it on the rear fin, the rudder, everything else goes in that side. And some more little extra details together. Else you're on <laughs> number 45, you're not even halfway through yet. Um, there's like little fans going in. It's quite a nice looking build, to be honest. I'm just going for it quickly because I just want to get on and see what's actually inside. Top of the wings go on, so more drilling out involved. Um, so yeah, the see there's got up there, which is a good feature. So make sure that that leg's up, 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 up. So that's the front of the engine there. Then you're doing the back end of the engine there. Is that back end of the engine? No. Yeah, back end of the engine. Yeah, it's quite, quite, a, quite a build. This isn't it? You know, there's parts of the engine going together. So you got two half for the engine. Some pipe work to go in and some pipe to go on the front. Then just glue all that in, which is nice. The ring to go around. Then you've got the choice here of the nacelles, haven't you? So you've got, um, or is it? Is it a choice? Or I presume there's a choice. So you've got the the um, the the X. You know the the excess is going on the outside and the nacelles going around. But I thought it came with two. You had two designs on this one. I'll have a look in a minute. Cause I'm sure there's. Two designs on the nacelle. That's what I saw. So you've got decals inside the door. There's you're putting all the glasswork in there. As you can see, all the glasswork fits in nice. And I think you're pretty much done on this, really. Doing the wheels now. So you've got two part wheels. And they um, slot in there so they could be free moving, which is a nice sort of touch. Which I'm sorry, has you got a choice of wheels here? Because what's the point in having wheels that can move if you've got flat spots? Just saying, like, all the way through. Then you're doing the turret on the top, which is the last step, and you're done on there. Very, very nice indeed. You get to the, you get the call-out sheets as well. So, Scheme A, which is the pilot officer, Philip Peters, Sergeant D. Spencer. Um, you know, you're going to need six colours here. Silver... Nevin, 24, matte yellow, dark earth, dark green, matte black, and gunmetal. Basically, it's half and half, really. Underside, you've got the silver, and on top, you've got the camo. Very nice indeed. Uh, quite a few decals to go on there as well. You, you know, you're well joist on this one. Same again on this side. But yeah, so you, this is the, um, the Coastal Command Camouflage Trials, which is a nice looking kit. It's a nice looking scheme as well research notes the aw665 was reportedly finished an experimental coastal command scheme a foliage green earth brown upper surfaces with matte white vertical surfaces with gloss white underside for the illustrative purposes the gloss white options are shown in a darker tint fuselage codes are serial numbers are believed to have been painted in light slate gray oh, that's interesting so Different shades to make it easier to understand. Then we move on to C, which is I like this C one. The yellow is really nice one, which is the training command number 31, Canadian Air Force. That's quite nice looking. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Then on the back of this, you have the rigging diagram. So to do your rigging, straight across to the back, front to back, miss out the uh, ring there. Then you've got two. Looking at you from the rudder there. Nice. So there's the rigging on them. Quick look at the decals. Very, very nice decals indeed. They are quite impressive, to be fair. Um, nice, big and thick ones. Whoops, there's a little mark there, but it's not. You see how crisp they are. They're cartograph ones, but lots of detail there. 
for you to um, munch over and stick down and play with. But you've got the three schemes here um, and even the detail looks pretty good. There's actual wording there as well on this kit. So on, on the kit, on the decal, sorry. But yeah, plenty of decals there for you to work with. Um, but yeah, impressive so far, very impressive. Right, so we've got, um, it looks like they've been bagged in pairs. So let's just open them up anyway, so we can have a look. Right, so you are getting one, two, three, four, five and six, because they're the same, and one glass brew. Right, so let's have a look at this plastic. Wow, there's a lot of plastic here, isn't there? Look at the size of it. It's Ella, isn't it? It's Ella. Look at the detail. Um, so you get quite a lot of plastic in this kit, as you can see here. Um, let me know your thoughts as I'm going through this. Look at that framework there. Look how delicate that framework looks. Like, you know. <laughs> um, look at the tail there. So I don't know whether that's part of the design. But it's, it seems to be a little bit... Gosh, I presume that's part of the design. Looking underneath, yeah, it's all pretty straight there. There's some nice, nice, um, nice work gone into this. You can feel the uh, the ridges of the plane. It's very, very nice. It just yeah, it looks really good. But yeah, well, that's not looking too bad. So that's frame A. Just looking at the underside. So you got detail on the inside as well. You have got some injection marks, but you you know you're gonna have to fill them in if you want. Um, injection pin marks. There's quite a few on the back there. But you do need injection pin marks on this, so you're gonna to have to work with them with this one. So there's the first first sprue. This one's frame B. Again, you've got all that nice nice texture on the on the on the plastic. Look at that nice. It really is. It looks phenomenal. Really proper that does. On the inside, not much detail on the inside really, but you don't need much anyway. But yeah, some, it does look a really nice piece, this. That's frame B. So there's C. There's the C frame. Um, you know, the I think a lot of the injection pin marks will be hidden anyway on this, which is a good thing. Um, nice uh, bit of decal, a um, bit of uh, dashboard there for the decals. Interesting there. Bulkheads, some nice detail. Just you know, it's looking really good. This kit, there's a lot of pieces. Mind you're going to be there a while. Very nice. So, this frame C, frame D again. So, you've got that feel there. It's it's really nice, actually. And then there's the nacelles, um, on here. Can you see that with the so you, you have to glue the, the extras on top parts of the engine here? So, that's frame D and the wheels. So they're half, half, half side wheels, which are easier to paint actually than your bog standard 72 scale. So there's frame D. Then you have two frame E's, which are absolutely bang the same. And um, and there's some, there's another bit of the nacelle there, the cover. But I'm presuming that you can have two covers. Cause I think there's them two as well. Is that from a different kit? I think you can have two. I'm mean, so I'm sure you did. when I went to there they had two sites. But there's the there's the bulges of that nacelle. But yeah, and there's you know we're showing you up. But I'm quite impressed actually by so far what I've seen. It's a proper nice looking kit indeed. Uh, let's have a quick look at the um, the glasswork. There is a lot of glasswork here, so you're gonna have a lot of masking to do. But it's it's easy. It's quite easy. It looks quite easy. But see, there's a lot of glass involved here. There's the turret there, two bore turret. Or was it three three part turret there for you to get your hands on? And some bubbles there. You got the the cockpit top there, the actual top of the fuselage. Look at that. In that in that. Oh, it just looks good, doesn't it? We're actually talking the other day. You don't see a lot of flash on glass, do you? Whatever the age of the kit. But look at that. That's crisp, nice detail there. You're going to have lots of fun and pleasure building this kit up. So one, two, three, four. Four sections. I think you only have to use one or the other, I think. I just want to, yeah, yeah. I think one side, the other side. But yeah, all looking good. All looking fabulous. 
So guys, this is the sort of kit you've been waiting for, because I certainly have, and it could be one of the best releases that Airfix have done for 2022, especially in 148 scale. It just looks brilliant, um, very impressive, and I'm assuming that they're going to be releasing this for a few versions because there are added extras already I can see inside. Because I said I'm sure that there was a nice, um, an engine um and this was flat not bubbly so you know anyways <laughs> you know what i mean anyways um is this sort of kit you are going to build then leave a comment below um and just let me know what scheme you would use on this kit anyways that's it if you like the video click like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe ring that bell select all of to be notified when i release a new video if you want to become a channel member feel free to click join and memberships are £1.99 a month upwards and your name will be put on every video that I do as long as you're a member. If you'd like to see more of my unboxings, click here. If you'd like to see my latest build, click here.